All right, so let's get this video started by looking at some navigation and setting features that we haven't seen yet in the software. There are some things that are hidden that we're not going to normally access, but we're gonna be going into all of those spots in the software so you know exactly where to look for things. So we're gonna jump into that right now. All right, let's jump into this video and let's look at some of these navigation and functionalities on our top menu bar here so we can really understand what everything does. So let's go ahead and open up a file. Let's just grab a file here. Okay, so starting over from the left and we're gonna work our way over, uh, we're gonna find under file, we have, we can either open a new calibration file, which is the same as this tab here. So we can do it in two different spots. So we just click that, it's the same. If we go to open, it's gonna again open up the file. So we can do it from two different spots, either here or here. Same thing, we have save or save as. Now, if we just simply click the save here, that's going to save this file. But if we want to overwrite the name of the file, we have to use save as. So if I didn't like this name and I wanted to say, just call it something like rev1, that's going to save over the file, same file, renaming it. So if we're going to use that functionality, we have to go to file save as. And then we're going to see that we have an email feature. I don't use that. I usually just attach the file to an email if I need to. And then here we're going to have a very handy feature for compare. Now we're going to want to compare this file to say, let's a completely different file. Uh, let's just, oh, let's grab a completely different file here. So let's just do this. So now we can see that we have two different files open, comparing it to the files that I, uh, the, the file that was existing, that was already there, and then the file that I grabbed. We can see that there's a huge amount of differences because they're, again, completely different files. But this will show me what all the changes were and what the differences are between two files. And it'll tell me exactly where the differences are and point me into the file so I can look at them. So that's a handy feature if you want to compare two files either you're working with or if you have a file that's already in the S300 and you want to start from scratch and you can uh, create a file or start from the file, you can look at what was done and uh, see the differences. So that's a handy feature. Uh, so if you move on to edit here, we can go in and we can see that we have some of the functionality here for copy and paste that's simple. So if we simply want to copy these values here, control C, control V, uh, if we want to do those, we'll do those. Uh, so we have that functionality, and these are the, these are going to be the keystrokes. It's going to actually tell you uh, what those are. The increase and de de decrease selection that we found here, or also can be found in edit. Um, we're going to have the uh, interpolate and smooth function, again, found on our table here. We can find them in this drop-down menu. Now, the one thing that you're not going to find that I use heavily when I use the S300 is this adjust function. It's control J. Now, I have this memorized. I use it quite often. It's going to, when you hit Control J, it's going to uh, pop up a window that's going to give us the ability to either do a percentage adjustment, add or subtract values, or set the values to a particular uh, value that we want to set them to. So let's just look at how that's going to work. So say I select a bunch of values here, and I hit Control J, and I want to simply increase them by 5%. I'm going to hit 5, and that's going to increase those values by 5%. So 